This is a video overview of our 16 port PoE switch. It's great for use with our PoE cameras that we sell here at CCTV Camera World. This switch does have 16 PoE ports here, two gigabit uplink ports and an SFP port. You just have to get an SFP module to plug it in there to connect it to your fiber optic cable. What makes this PoE switch really stand apart is the SFP module and the two gigabit uplink ports. So you have a variety of uplink options. The SFP port is also a gigabit port. Now here, if you notice, these ports are labeled in blue borders over there. They signify that these are capable of a function called extended PoE, which our PoE switches offer. On the left hand side of this switch, there's a dip switch here. And number two, if you flip it on, it will turn the first eight ports into extended PoE, which will allow power transmission up to 250 meters using solid copper CAT6 cable. That's UL listed to PoE cameras, sort of like this one, which are uh, fixed lens cameras, no zoom, nothing fancy, no pan tilt, just regular fixed lens cameras. These usually require six watts or less. So you can have these cameras up to 250 meters away from the switch. And the first eight ports can do that power transmission. The other thing is inside the box, you get a power cord, which you connect to the back. Now here's a view of the back of the PoE switch. You've got a fan in here to keep it cool. And there's an AC inlet. So you just plug in your AC cord that comes with the switch and plug this into hardwired AC power. It's 110 and 240 volt rated. And there's also some ears that you can put on the outside of the switch. There, there are two ears in there and some screws to make this rack mountable in a standard rack. That is our overview of our desktop 16 port PoE switch with extended PoE transmission. Keep in mind it is meant for indoor use in an HVAC controlled environment. You can put it in a desktop, in a server rack. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.